I'm, I'm building a wheelchair accessible van and in order to free up as much floor space to manipulate a wheelchair around as I can, I decided that I would buy a wall mount sink. And this is what I purchased. And it basically attaches to the wall and there's no supporting pedestal underneath. So that it's going to free up more floor space to manipulate a wheelchair around. The mounting hardware that I bought was this. <clears throat> and what this is, is normally built in behind a wall in an accessible washroom. And it's going to support the sink. And it comes with these two mounting brackets that screw on like that. These are threaded. And then you have these big steel bars that thread into here. And then sitting on that is going to be the sink. Well, what's happened is that when I mounted all that, my sink started about here and went out. And it's going out so far that it's going to kind of restrict me getting wheelchair around in the van. I would like to get that sink mounted as far back against this wall as possible. So this mounting technique is, is not going to, to work. So I decided that I need to scrap all this. <clears throat> I still want to use these steel supporting bars, but I get, want to get them mounted back further so that my sink is back probably another three or four inches than it would have been if I used that supporting bracket. So I'm going over to Home Depot and get myself some 2x10s and see if I can mount 2x10s onto this wall and attach these metal support bars into those 2x10s. So here's my 2x10. And I'm going to mount it against the wall like this. Drill some holes through that. Again. So I can mount this supporting bar onto this 2x10 and see if I can make that work. So here's my board all cut up to fit into this space with a couple of holes drilled through it for these mounting arms and I want to see if I can kind of test fit this in and see how that goes. That's looking pretty good, but I'm going to have to put another 2x10 behind here to give it more support. 
and then two by ten in behind Another two by ten in behind here. Probably far enough along that I'm going to pick up the support of this structure here to bolt it to. So therefore, it needs to be about twenty-six inches, starting from right there. six inches okay 26 inches got a radio saw that actually could pull back and forth but when I bought this this was a little less expensive so I thought I could get away without it so we just have to flip it over and do the second cut okay so Here's the uh, here's a big two by twelve or ten, whatever what it is. <coughs> here's a piece that's going to be behind it, and I've marked on here, but where it's going to be. But that's not going to work because I need to have this up like this and I don't know exactly where. So, I guess I better go remount this back in the van and figure that out. That sucks. Okay, let me get that other piece. So this is going to go in behind like this. Oh, that's going to be nice and tight. I just cut the angle off in the bottom and slide it further in. Let me just go chop a little angle off the bottom of that. There. Cut a little angle off that. Look at that. That's so much better. That is beautiful. So after putting a bit of a 
slot in that bolt, I was able to level up this board at just under 36 inches. So now I've got the board level this way and this is going to be the supporting member behind and now I need to match drilling holes up in here so that it fits tight. So And by having these attached, you know exactly where I need to start. by turning the board over just before you break through on the other side and then drilling down in there stops a lot of the breakout uh, breaking the wood as you come through. So there's the metal support arm for the sink and this is a coupling that came with it.
That's what it's going to look like. <clears throat> About three quarters of an inch. That's not bad though. Okay. I think once it's all bolted in there, that's going to be a uh, pretty solid setup. We'll tidy it up and uh, see what the final setup looks like. I think this design is going to work and I need to make one change before I proceed on. And that's these two by sixes that I have running vertical that are inch and a half inch are inch and a half wide. And what that does is there's a coupling on the back of the 
steel bars that run through here, go all the way through and it's at the back. Because that bar is running through one, two, three pieces of inch and a half thick wood, it's only being exposed, the thread on that bar is only being exposed about that much, maybe an inch, and the coupling is longer than an inch, and therefore not engaging all the threads. So, I'm going to change this six inch vertical out to a three quarter inch piece of plywood, and that's going to move the sink back three quarters of an inch, and it's going to let that bar go back three quarters of an inch more and give more thread engagement on the coupler that's holding these bars in place. So I'm going to give that a try and I'm hoping that's the last iteration that I'm going to make on this mounting method before I before I get it all uh, permanently attached. There you can see that coupling on the back here. And you can see it's only sticking through, you know, about uh, three quarters of an inch. So if I take three quarters of an inch off the other side, it's going to bring this back further. It's going to give more threads for this coupling to grab a hold of. So I don't know, I've changed out the inch and a half uh, board to a three quarter inch and you can see how much more thread I'm going to have to put my coupling on that's going to hold it on the back.
Matter of fact, it's just about perfect. It's flush. So that's going to work out quite well. <coughs> so I'll stand that up and mount it. Well, mounted again. I didn't film the mounting process because you've probably seen it several times too often to see me struggle to do that. But anyways, I've got it pretty much bolted in. I just need to put the, the bottom piece on and tack that down to the floor. That's going to be pretty solid. Um, so I think I'll uh, set the sink up on top of that and uh, see what it looks like. I think that's solid enough to hold it for now. I don't know what this sink weighs, but it weighs a lot. The reason I wanted to, the reason I wanted to get this sink in as tight to the wall as possible is because I need as much clearance coming through here as I can get so that I could pass a wheelchair through. And I think I've got at least 26 inches come through here before when the sink was out three or three inches more I had less than uh, 24 inches so I think I got 26 inches to pass through here and my shower pan for the shower is 24 inches so the wall is going to be probably about here and that will give me 28 inches to get back through here so that's what it looks like